Have you ever just been playing around and come up with something really interesting and wish you'd recorded it? Well, Cubase has got a really cool feature called Retrospective MIDI Record, which means we can be fooling around at a keyboard or with any MIDI instrument and come up with something cool and not have to have recorded it. All you need to have done is had Cubase open with a MIDI track selected, and you can go up to Transport, select Retrospective MIDI Record, and there's the idea that you were just playing around with. There's one small problem. We didn't record it to a click track. This should become pretty obvious if you actually turn the click track on. But you don't need to worry about that because another cool feature inside of Cubase is the tempo detection, which lives inside the project menu. Once you hit analyze, Cubase will analyze your playing and insert tempo markers in on a new tempo track. Now when you hit play, you'll see that the click is pretty much in time, kind of on the offbeat. So I'm gonna select multiply by two, and now we've got a click on every beat of the bar. But it's just moving around a little bit. So you can see those tempo markings are a little inconsistent because my playing's not recorded to a click track. If I select the tempo track and just turn it off, you can see that it's been smoothed out. And in fact, now the tempo is the original tempo from the project. I can exit tempo detection mode by double clicking on the event and I'll just get a prompt. I'm okay to overwrite that. I'm in 4-4, so I'm going to change my time signature, which is at the very start of my project. Straight away, the click track is reverted to the default click track for 4-4. You can go and quantize aspects of your playing, but you shouldn't really need to because Cubase has already detected any time fluctuations and straighten them out for you. Hey, thanks for taking the time to stop by. Please subscribe to our Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll catch you there.